U.S. foundry industry is about $30 billion industry. On average, foundries lose about 5% on internal and external failure costs on a very conservative basis. This comes to approximately about $1.5 billion. There is a considerable scope in reducing these costs and also foundries are energy intensive industries. So any savings will be beneficial to everybody. In my opinion, process knowledge is defined as list of all the process variables, their collection system, their visualization system and the analysis in order to arrive at the ranges of the process variables that will give acceptable castings in their foundries. So, in my opinion, the various components people can have as a process knowledge are factor response table, process flow charts, cause and effect matrices, SIPOC diagrams. These are the various components people need to collect and then use it for on a day-to-day -day basis. The process knowledge in a specific terms is foundries are expected to collect data on the product specific ranges for these process parameters that are related to either casting defects or any other product specifications specified by their customers. Customers are generally specify the product characteristics. They do not specify the process parameters. So essentially we need to foundries have to focus on responses and the factors. Responses are governed by the acceptance criteria like the casting dimensions or the casting defects or the defect per million opportunities. So these are the type of uh, responses people need to collect. People also need to collect data on factors that are responsible for these responses. So essentially people, the foundries are expected to use the guidelines given in this particular paper to collect data on the factors and then have the information on product, the, speci the specification limits for the factors that are related to the responses.